We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Seattle Mariners and the New York Yankees. Striding into the box, D. Gordon, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The 1 1. Misses, ball two. Two balls, one play. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Here's the pitch. He pulls this one into right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the base hit puts the first man aboard to start the inning for the Mariners. To the plate now, Malik Smith. And he fights this one off here to foul it off to the left, and that holds the count at one and two. From the belt, the pitch, and a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. So a runner at first with one out now. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Now a spin and a throw back to second. And a dive, but he's back. The 3-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Gordon leads off second with one gone in the inning. And another foul ball. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judges under it. And that's the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Dan Vogelbach is next. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Vogelbach. Vogelbach behind the ball and two strikes. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Digging in, Gio Urshela. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1 home. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Up with it, Murphy. And he makes the throw to first. Urshela is retired, and there's one away. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. To two balls and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. That is good. The second base In now, DJ LeMahieu. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So now to the play, Aaron Judge. Get the target, but this is low, two and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 
Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up. And he sends it out to left field. Well hit. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Standing in now, Torres. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Two and one. To two and two now. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's got two hits in 17 at-bats. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. I'll straighten him up there on now that fastball. One it's one and two now. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another 1 2 delivery. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Two two pitches fouled away. Now the pitch. Full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed. High and deep to left center field. Back goes Stanton at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. The 1-1. One -one. All two. Bases are empty, one man out. That's a and that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Tom Murphy waits on deck. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a called strike two. Fouled off. He spoils another one and will do it again. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. Digging in, Tom Murphy. The captain, number three, Tom Murphy. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Ball. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that brings up the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Here's the one and one pitch. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Judges under it. And the inning is over. In now, Luke Voigt. He was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. 3-1. Squared that one up just a little late. Now the payoff pitch home. 
smoked on the ground up the middle. Gordon is there, and there are two away now. Here's Brett Gardner now to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one now to Brett Gardner. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Pitch in the dirt, and that scoots right on by. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away, as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Next will be the designated hitter, Dylan Moore, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Count even at two and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first the out. Next for Seattle, D. Gordon, a base Gordon. hit in his first trip. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And the pitch. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Now that the center fielder, Malik. Stepping in now, Malik Smith. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And there he goes towards second. Pitch outside. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. The 3-2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Mitch. Two out here and a runner at second. Two balls and a strike. And a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. And the count will be full. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Miguel Andujar. He'll lead it off here against Taiwan Walker. And good patience exercised as he works out to walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now better. So stepping in, DJ LeMayhew. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To Gordon for one. On to first to complete the double play. 
So base is empty now after the double play. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Now that the designated hitter. At the plate, Torres fouled away. Line towards center field, and that's in there. Base hit. Now back, left At the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Two out, bases loaded. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. New inning set to get underway. Stepping into the box, Daniel Vogelback looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Three and two now. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Into the box now, Carlos Gonzalez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Into the corner and slicing foul. One and two, here it comes. Lifted the other way to left center. Stanton is underneath this one, and that's out number two. Now Coming to the plate now, Kyle Seeger. He drew a walk his first time up. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2. Two -two. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now. Three and two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And he misses ball four. The captain of the two. Runner on first with two away. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. The 1 1. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. Pulled toward right center field. Smith in pursuit. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Called 
and strike two as he locks him up there. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. Flied out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to 2 and 1 now. And it misses 3 and 1 now. You do not want to walk the 8 hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the 9 hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dylan Moore. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now here's the pitch. They try to come in with a fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. The batter number nine. Back to the top of the order now, and up next the speedy D. Gordon. Two and one count now to the Mariners leadoff batter. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him and the inning is over. Standing in Miguel Andujar. It was a walk in his last trip. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. On the run is Smith. He's around first, heading for two. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Second baseman, DJ. To the plate now, DJ LeMayhew. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. The throw home. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Eric Swanson takes the ball here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. So now to the plate, Aaron Judge. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. In there, two and two. Love the fact the pitcher challenged him in that spot right there. Didn't love the location. But I got to be honest with you, I think he's got him on his heels right now. Don't be shocked if he attacks the zone again. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Aaron Judge is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Chopped to third. Tough to get to. Seeger fields it cleanly. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So striding in, Malik Smith. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And Duhar is camped under this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Ready oh, once again, back. Daniel Vogelback. He went down on strikes Daniel last time up. Vogelback. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Ball even at two and two. Looking to send him packing again. And he 
yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. The one and two pitch. No, that's cool. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And the pitch. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. The two out, Gary. nobody on. Sanchez. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Hits sharply toward the right side. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. The relay, the tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Standing in now, Carlos Gonzalez. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. The the third one away for Seattle now in inning number seven. Seager. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it and indeed the throw will finish him off as they get to the put out at first and there are two away now the the digging in Tom Murphy oh. first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. He loses him on ball four. Ready for another chance. J.P. Crawford. No hits for him to this point. Not unlike many of his fellow teammates. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Chopped on the ground over to first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Again, another foul ball. The next 3 2. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Around first, here's Gardner on his way to second. 
And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Now back. Number 29. In now, Gio Urshela. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. A runner at second, nobody out. Hit back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. One gone here in the Yankee seventh, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. The back, the second baseman, DJ Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Smith is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Two out with a man at first. Now here's the drive out to right center field. And Duhar rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now the relay home. And not in time as the run scores. Taylor Gilbo enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate, Torres. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. A bouncer up the middle. Crawford gloves it. Toss over to Gordon at second, and that ends the inning. Zach Britton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Ready to begin the eighth. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Dylan Moore. He went down on strikes last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So the batting order turns over now and set to go D. Gordon. So far, two for three in this one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. The 2-2. Two -two. Oh, got him to swing on top of that one as this ball's dribbled out in front of the mound. Throw is not going to be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield now single. The center fielder, Malik. Into the box, Malik Smith. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. And he'll strike out here yet again. As it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Now, batting, right fielder. now in the box, Mitch, Mitch Henniger. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now, now with two away. The first baseman. Striding Daniel forward now, the Mariners' Vogelback. cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. He's fallen behind now, three and one.
And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Ready for another shot now. Carlos Gonzalez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and a ground ball, and this should get him out of it. Gloved by LeMayhew. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Mariner rally gets turned away as the inning is over. Now batting, Luke Voigt. We could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Two balls and a strike, here it is. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. And he'll have himself a leadoff single as this is through into left. Now batting, Hector Gary. Ben Gary. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And there's one away. So striding forward now, Brett Gardner. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Pulled toward right center field. Smith's on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Gio Urshela. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is taken for ball two. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And it's fouled away. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. Here's Miguel Andujar now. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Skied down the left field line. On the move is Gonzalez. And they can't run it down. He got him. Lively fastball that time. And it puts an end to the inning. Ben Heller comes on from the pen. Hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 61. Stepping in, Kyle Seeger. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1-1. One, one. That's a good. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Tom Murphy is on deck. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. The catcher, number two. At the plate, Tom oh. Murphy. It was a walk in his last trip. That's to two balls and two strikes now. 
Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. From the belt, kicks and deals. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next three, two. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. LeMayhew for one. Back to first. A ninth inning double play. And they're an out away from closing this one out. The Mariners are down to their final out now. And that brings up the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The 1-1 home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gardner is there. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. It's always nice to take the opener of a four-game set when you're at home. That sets the stage for the rest of the series, and it gives you a good springboard the rest of the way. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. The Yanks posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Garrett Cole earns his fifth winner of the year as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Taiwan Walker was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here tonight at Yankee Stadium, 47,300. The Yankees thank you for attending and remind you to please get home safely.